Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Edge of Chapter Viewers. In this video, I have a quick little Mac app review for Mac Pilot. So let's get right into this. Now, I just wanted to say I want to thank the developers for sending out this program, uh, but this is not the exact Mac App Store version. It might have a couple more features than it that maybe Apple wouldn't have allowed, but for the most part, it's pretty much the same. So, yeah, let's get right into this. So I'm on the General tab here. I got Favorites, New Features, and Popular. The Popular is pre-set up, and it actually has some really... Uh, cool little, I guess, preference changes for your Mac. So instead of having to go into like terminal and entering a bunch of codes to do things, you can do them really simply here. So it says, you, for example, this is a great example because it's easy to see. Use a 2D traditional dock instead of 3D. I can just hit this button and once again, I got to check it. And there we go. I've got the old 2D traditional dock instead of the 3D one. So I can just uncheck that and it'll be back to normal. So there was no terminal, nothing I had to do. I just clicked the button. So it's really simple. Uh, that's what most of this does, actually. So I'm not going to show you all of it because this thing has tons of different things to change. But I'm just going to show you a couple of them and just give you a rundown of the app. Obviously, I have not changed everything. A lot of it I haven't felt the need to change, but um, some of it can definitely uh, be... Uh, very helpful. So you got a lot of half star ratings like in iTunes. You can disable the genius sidebar. You can uh, show store arrow links. You can dis oh, I already said that. Zoom to window. Uh, let's see. Safari. So you can disable PDF support. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you can do it. Um, enable inspect element option. Some people might like that, web developers and stuff. So yeah, you can change the backup interval for the time machine simply here. Just Everything just is in one place here. All your changes and stuff that you can make on your Mac, it's in one place, so it's very helpful. So then you got address book. Uh, let's see, what's a good one? Let's just go into some doc stuff here. So I can add a spacer, which is basically like a um, blank space. If you wanted to space out icons for whatever reason, you can do that. Icon size, alignment, right spacer. So you can you could basically, if you didn't have such a large dock like I have like I have it full of different things but if you had just a couple you can uh, maybe make the dock like on the right hand side only or the left hand side only and I don't know why you'd want to do that but you can do that so let's scroll down spring load um, use new list style rack for um, the dock prevent the dock from being resized prevent adding or removing items this is basically yeah this is restriction so you can change all that but I'm not going to do that because I don't need that. But and then you could, of course, you can search for specific things uh, that you might need. Let's go into expose, disable expose. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go over here. So now you got um, disks. So let's click on that, and this will tell you your uh, hard drive. You can. I have not messed with a lot of this because I don't want to screw anything up. But there's disk journaling, volume structure, file per verify file permissions, repair file permissions, and then it tells you a little bit about the um, hard drive itself. Here are the files. It tells you uh, how much space you have and things like that. Then there's advanced here, which I'll probably have to block out a lot of this because um, it's got UUI UUIDs and stuff. And then there's other. So then there's HD power man manager. <clears throat> so it's the hard drive power manager. So I can idle hard disk sleep time when plugged into wall. So I can change it from 10 minutes to whatever I want. And it's got um, enabled the sudden motion sensor protecting when plugged into wall or when it's just running on battery. I think that's the um, sound when like you like get up from the couch or something and sh or shake your Mac just a little bit and you just hear that little noise. Uh, I think that's the hard drive shutting off. That's what I've heard. So I think that's what that is here. So you can turn that on or off. I, of course, want it on. Then there's network. So you can uh, check out different networks and stuff, DHCPs and things. I could click on one of these and show it, but I don't want to show all the information for those things. And then there's advanced. I honestly don't really know what a lot of this is, but it's there. You can configure it, of course. Login items. So these are things that I put on myself. These are applications and you can see when they uh, start up like when the computer starts up and stuff like that and of course you can add things and change them and things so here's startup I can start the computer up in normal mode 
debug mode, single user mode, verbose mode, safe mode, and things like that. Of course, I would never do this unless I really had to because doing things like this can uh, screw up your computer. So I'm not going to mess with that right now, but it's here. You can do it if you need to. So it's kind of a nice option. So yeah, you can change this stuff. Not really sure. I guess, uh, yeah. You can limit the amount of RAM, but I've only got, I think, 4 gigs of RAM on here. Um, yeah, so don't know what that is. Mute startup chime, so if you don't want the um, startup chime, then you can check that. So it makes everything really easy. I mean, these are options. Some of these options are things that you might not have thought that you could do on a Mac unless you actually researched them, got the terminal code, entered it into terminal. But here you just click a button, and it's easy. So it's really nice. Um, spotlight management here. Power, so I can wake laptop when laptop lid is opened, uh, wake when power source changed, um, display sleep dims the screen, not turns it off, so I can, this is basically like things like um, changing power options and things. So this is on battery power, I can change it to AC power, um, let's see, hibernate in emergencies, uh, always hibernate, disable hibernation, you can change things like that. And uh, yeah, so let's go over to logs. So these are basically all the different logs that your computer has. You can uh, see them in a log viewer form, but I delete most of my logs with Mac Cleanse, which I got from the same company, so I want to thank them. There's a review up on, on that. Uh, it should probably be a related video over to the side or something. So let's go over to tools, and here we go. I can do, okay, so this is, I can locate. This is just the different favorites, bar, and things, features. This desktop screensaver, I can toggle that. Yes. As you can see, that is now my desktop, which is awesome. Uh, let's see. Maintenance, yes, yes. Uh, I do most of my maintenance manually. But that is really cool. I mean, you, you, you've got to say that's pretty sweet. That's my... Uh, screensaver by the way. And then there's manuals here which I don't need. Then there's of course file browser. I have not used this too much because it's very it looks very complicated but basically what you can do, I've used it a couple times, you can go into like applications and then you can um, go through them, you can see what's in them. So these are my different applications as you can see and you can go through them, rename them if you want, um, make them visible or invisible. Um, and there's details of its um, access. You can see who has access to it, uh, if the owner can read, write, execute it, or if a group can, or if everyone can. And that's basically it. Now there's a lot more to it, obviously, but uh, yeah, that's pretty awesome. awesome. So this is just the properties within the application itself. Uh, use metal window relaunch finder automatically without confirmation as needed so but usually when you do some of these changes it'll need to restart finder and stuff and it can do that automatically so there's also character map which I think is kinda cool if I can open it there we go just easy way to get right to it and uh, look at some cool characters and stuff Let's go back to general, and that's basically it. I mean, there's things for all of these. You can disable stuff, compression level, iTunes. There's a lot of iTunes things. Um, iPhoto. You can uh, enable multi-touch maps. You can loop slides, maximum thumbnail size. I mean, there's just a bunch of things you can change. And I highly recommend this app, especially for new Mac users like myself. I'm not new, but newer. And there's just things that I didn't think I could do that I can do now, so it's really nice. So that's pretty much it for this one, guys. Um, like I said, highly recommend it. Very useful. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. There's just a lot to cover in this. So check it out, guys. I highly recommend it. Link in the description. I'll see you guys in the next one.